some of my favorite tracks on the record. I think the starting point for the album is Face Down. It's the first riff I wrote for Killer Be Kill. It's the opening riff of Face Down. It was the first song me and Greg wrote together. We did uh, we did the verse and the chorus, and it stays the same from the beginning, which I think is very cool that we kept a purity from the first days that the band was born. When the project was born, it was just me and Greg. We kept some of that, that purity alive on Face Down, and we didn't really change much. Uh, the riff is exactly the same. Uh, the vocals, we changed the lyrics a little bit, make a little cooler. Um, but the core is exactly the same as I was singing. It's very hardcore, old school hardcore chorus uh, that I do it with Greg. And I think it's, for me, it's it's very cool that we kept that because of the. It's kind of like the purity, the roots of the project can trace back to face down, and then um, second song I think is the opener, "Wings of Feather and Wax." It was a special song because it wasn't. It was a kind of a, a just a, another song. In fact, I think it started with a jam. I was jamming a riff that sounded like U2, Sunday Bloody Sunday, you know, very stupid, melodic, kind of throwaway riff, and we stopped playing it, and then I added one more riff on top of it. There was a very max riff that's the beginning of the record now, and when we put vocals on top of it, it turned into a great song uh, overnight. And, and uh, it was it surprised everybody, especially when uh, Troy and Greg sing on it. That was like, I think it took to a whole nother level of the song. And we like it so much that we decided to open the record with. I think it's the most potential song that has potential to uh, even be played on the radio because it has a very catchy chorus that Greg does. And um, I think Octane is going to. Uh, it's, it's been playing them and liquid metal and, and that's very cool for me to have a song that has been playing different outlets and and then uh, other stuff that I really like is Save the Robots which is um, a Troy song that he brought from Atlanta when he first joined the band he came to me and said Max I have a, a, a very cool riff if you want to check it out if you want to use it or not it's you know up to you and he played for me, and it, I was blown away. It was awesome. It was, it was great. And I was like, we have to use it, man. Um, so I kind of made a, a, a deal with, with Troy. Like, this is your song. Just go off. Just go crazy on it. He's like, can I name it? Can do everything? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to call it Save the Robots. Okay. Weird. Wild. Can I make a robot voice in the beginning? Like, yeah, you can do whatever <laughs> you want, man. I'm giving you full freedom to go off a wild on this one and uh, and uh, he did try try i uh, did and and greg added a chorus on save the robots a very cool chorus um i sing a uh kind of uh pre-chorus with troy we did it together and uh it's a, it's a really cool song on our record um another great song i really like is another song that me and troy work together is forbidden fire the very closing of the record is a very different track from the entire record. It changes. It's uh, kind of the first, uh, the bass riff reminds me of old Soundgarden or old uh, Alice in Chains. And um, Troy's got this almost uh, monk kind of voice, almost like preaching, like a preacher vocal that's very eerie. And I wrote all the lyrics on a piece of paper one day. I was very inspired because the idea, my wife was telling me about Middle East kids are not allowed to listen to metal, are forbidden by government, which is crazy for us in the West. We take it for granted we, 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 our metal shirts and color hair and, and dreadlocks and tattoos. We can do that. We can walk the street and it's no problem. And over there, they go to jail for that, you know, which is insane. And, and they, are, they still love metal, and they refuse the idea or let the government tell them what you listen to. You know, they go against that, and that takes a lot of balls, a lot of courage. 
so I explained to Troy that we should do a song for those kids, for the metal kids of of the Middle East that have this courage to to love and have the passion for metal. And all of our bands are very popular in the Middle East, in Iran and Iraq and Soulfly, Mastodon, all of us. So we did, and I call it Forbidden Fire. I think it's a very cool um, title. And I have one of my favorite lines that I ever written my whole life, which is war destroy and music saves. And it's very powerful. It's very, very, very uh, street level kind of chant that I do it on the middle of the song. And it's, it's like, just has some really eerie, unique power to it. And I was very happy that we included that song to close the record with. And that's the song that Juan is doing all kinds of guitar effects that sounds like airplanes dropping bombs and kind of war noises and different kind of stuff and then the other uh song i'll pick would be uh, snake of jehovah which is a really cool song it starts with a, a riff from greg and goes into this wawa thing that troy did with his bass that's amazing and we all shared the vocals on each different part of the song has a lot of parts, has a trash part um, that Troy does one of my favorite lines, is roll the dice. It sounds like Lamy from Motorhead when he's singing. It's freaking awesome. And we're doing a video for that song also. And uh, so I'm very, uh, very attached to the song. I like the concept too of the Snakes of Jehovah is about the, uh, the religious people from crazy parts of the states that they do the snake you know rituals holding the snakes and they get beat sometimes and they die and it's, it's wild it's a wild concept you know so those are some of my favorite moments of the record